All right, guys, we're sitting out here at the range, and I thought it'd be a lot of fun to bring out this guy right here. Uh, <laughs> this is my go-to rifle. You guys seen the build. This has got the 12-and-a-half-inch uh, ballistic advantage barrel in it. It's been a while since I actually pulled this guy out, and I went ahead and got her zeroed up. And uh, with the light that we have out here, it's actually pretty good lighting to go ahead and sync up and see how well it does with the laser. Now, what I've got are targets set out at 100, 200, and 300. This is a 300-yard gun. Uh, beautiful, beautiful optics. The one thing that I may change out on it is I've got a green dot with the green laser. So what I want to do, using my Lynx Defense pistol bag out here, is we're going to go ahead and put our green laser on that so you see the target we've got target set up down there okay right now i don't know why but my vision is seeing one. oh there we go all right let's see how well that's 100 yards like it all right so let's go on out to 200 and i'll see if i can get the laser on there now see here's the thing uh, this is a green laser, and it's perfectly co-witness with an infrared laser. Now, this is the Zenico Purst 4. I uh, was watching Millspec Mojo. He's actually running one of these things. This thing kicks ass. Uh, so what we'll do, let's go ahead. I'm going to, where's my damn, there we go. I'm going to see if I can't trace that laser up. Why are we not running? <laughs> We're on. All right, here we go. 200 yards. There. Almost. Here we go. I'm going to use the... Put these glasses on, you can see the dot. All right, so that's 200. So we've got that IPSC target sitting up there. And like I said, this is a 300. So I'm gonna see how far below I'm hitting. There it is. So, oh shit. Oops, that, that doesn't belong to me. So, uh, yeah, and that's it. Hey, you know what? I got a 500 yard target up there. Let's see where the damn thing's hitting. All right, let's bring it back. Go to the one, it's a lot more fun. Two. So the only thing I can see is I've got <laughs> my vision sucks. I wonder if I bring those things down, will it clear it up a little bit? No. I did oh, you know what? Bring this thing on like a 60. Oh, did I kill the I think I killed my target. Huh. Killed everything. Oh, that's it. All right, well, we're having fun. 12 and a half inches of pure loving. This guy goes with me, wear him with me, no matter where I go. The one thing I love about the Purst uh, Ford Zenit Co. is it has a master switch on the, uh, the uh, what do you call this thing? <laughs> tape switch. It's not really a tape switch. We've got a rheostat as well as you have uh, a keypad or a, a rubber pad. And I'll tell you what's nice about the rheostat is that if you do a room entry, all right, watch that 100-yard target. I can turn that thing up and down. 
So when you go into a closed room, you don't want something so bright. So you can bring that thing up and down. And I do love it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to play in the night, and especially when it's misty outside. It looks like a real true laser. Anyway, guys, that's it. This is, uh, I don't know, the Wildebeest. Let's just call it the Wildebeest. She's equipped with the Surefire light, the thumb. And I run my grip like that slant it back because that's my personal preference. Everybody wants me to put it forward and I can see where that is, but I like it like that. It's just, for me, it's more comfortable. All right, that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already done so. Support red, white, blue. God bless America. God bless men, women in uniform, 24 seven for our freedom. It's freedom's not free. And yes, she's longer than 26 inches from the tip of the buffer tube to the uh, end of the muzzle. Y'all be good. I'm out of here.